Hello dear all, Assalamu alaikum, how are you all, hope all of you are well. So today I am going to talk about my easily launch software feature which help you to operate this software easily. It was a great journey and I did it successfully. So now without wasting time, let's move on our software. So as you can see here is a short details about this software that is software name is Easy Transport Manager. The developer is Muhammad Amin Hussain and this software is supervised by Mrs. Mustad Jahan. And I am from Daffodil International University. So that's all about um, this software. Uh, so as you can see here is a message showing that press any key to continue. So before continue, I would like to share with you the mission and vision of this software. In a nutshell, the mission and vision of this software is to make anyone's journey most easy and comfortable. Uh, to use this software, uh, a user needs just an internet connection and a uh, mobile phone or PC. By using these tools, they can, get, uh, they can easily get all the services when they need to make a journey. So that is all about the uh, mission and vision, uh, all about uh, uh, mission and vision of this software. Uh, so let's move on our software by uh, pressing any key. By pressing any key, we entered into our software, and this is the user panel where user get all the services uh, by choosing their different option. So before we uh, uh, explore the uh, user panel features, let's move on our admin panel because when admin uh, insert the data, the user will see the data. So let's move on our admin panel by pressing A, and here is here two option is available. That is one is register uh, registration and another is login. Registration is only for employees and the login is only for admin. So if admin want to login, he will need to press 2 and the admin login panel will open. Then he need to enter the valid email ID and password uh, which help you to access the uh, admin panel successfully. Otherwise you cannot access in the uh, admin panel. So let's see uh, what happened when uh, uh, admin give the wrong email and password. By giving the wrong email and password, admin was warned uh, that he, he entered uh, email or password in, uh, invalid. Uh, so uh, as you can see uh, here, email admin cannot access without the valid email ID and password. So if he want to log in again, uh, then he need to press Y because uh, here option is showing that he uh, want to log in yes or no. So by pressing Y, he will uh, and again want to log in. This time I am giving the uh, right information of this admin to lo uh, login admin panel so as you can see giving the right information i entered into the uh, admin panel successfully and here you can see the current user is admin and uh, as you as uh, you can see the uh, here here several option is available for admin uh, in that is insertion view update delete uh, insert seat info uh, uh, manage account all these options are related to the transport uh, transport so here admin will uh, input the uh, all the all the uh, information about the trans we will see all the uh, all the option uh, what happened uh, when, when option is uh, open uh, so let's press uh, one uh, so in this panel uh, uh, admin will insert uh, all the information about the transport uh, I'm giving some random information that we can see the uh, what what happened when we entered the information So then uh, need to uh, enter a transport name. Then departure time. Then arriving time. And then the ticket price and the driver name. So after entering the all the information, he need just need to press enter. By pressing enter, he will uh, show the message that um, uh, uh, information decoded successfully. That means our uh, information is inserted successfully. Uh, in this way, he can insert it as many as uh, data he want to enter uh, by pressing Y. Uh, y. Uh, here you can see the message showing that add another record, yes or no. By pressing Y, he will add another record, otherwise no. And th so I am pressing uh, N uh, because I don't want to uh, an uh, enter another data. So let's see our data is inserted successfully or not. By pressing to will view view or check the data, uh, and then uh, I, 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 this is the view panel where uh, I, I, admin can check all the view uh, view uh, all the check information he want to view. That one is view in transport info, view seat info, view user info, view employee info, view cost info. Uh, by pressing different option, he can see all the uh, all the information or check the information. So I'm pressing one to check the uh, check the uh, transport info. 
so as you can see our transport information is inserted successfully so now let's move on our um, admin uh, admin panel by pressing where we can uh, back to admin panel uh, in this way he can see uh, all the information i already inserted uh, all the data uh, that uh, we can uh, view easily uh, so pressing to he can uh, view the seat number by pressing y he can uh, move to back to the admin panel and uh, by this uh, he can also uh, view the uh, user info which register is uh, uh, which uh, user is registered uh, so by pressing 3 he can see user info uh, that is one register is uh, already registered uh, now pressing uh, y we uh, back to our view panel so in this way he can check all the all the information he uh, he need to uh, need to uh, check so that's all about the uh, admin view panel uh, so now let's move on our uh, main admin panel uh, by pressing uh, v so in this way he can view and he can also uh, update delete and insert scene so we we already see that uh, uh, seat info uh, admin can uh, insert the seat info uh, and now we uh, see how uh, if he if he want to uh, delete a data uh, for example uh, we uh, admin delete want to data transport id number 111 triple one so if he want to delete uh, this data he just need to uh, go uh, delete panel by pressing 4 uh, and here he need to uh, enter the transport id that he wa uh, want to delete and after uh, uh, entering the transport id he just need to press enter by pressing enter uh, you can see that information is uh, showing that information deleted successfully that means uh, the data is deleted successfully uh, so let's see uh, data is deleted successfully or not so let's see uh, data is deleted successfully or not uh, uh, here we can see uh, in view panel yes data uh, is deleted successfully i already before i entered enter uh, uh, inserted uh, this uh, this data and you can see here is not showing the uh, transfer ID 111 that means uh, the transfer ID deleted successfully so let's go uh, to back to the admin panel so that is all uh, in this way uh, uh, the admin can uh, update data uh, easily uh, he can also the update the data so that is all about the admin panel and here is a uh, option number six uh, six is a manage account uh, this option is in under construction uh, this will be released soon uh, all the you can see the account option uh, that daily cost record weekly cost record monthly cost record yearly cost record ticket uh, booking record uh, employee salary record he can uh, he can also manage all these all these all these options uh, by uh, pressing different options uh, so let's uh, go back to our uh, admin panel so that is all about the uh, admin panel uh, so uh, now uh, now we log out from uh, log out from admin panel uh, to log out from admin panel admin just need to press uh, zero here you can see uh, showing that uh, zero for log out uh, so we pressing zero uh, by pressing zero we log out successfully uh, from admin panel uh, so now let's see uh, in, uh, what 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 are the options is available in user panel uh, in user panel user can see available operators by pressing one uh, this option uh, help the uh, user to uh, choose their transport wisely easily uh, and uh, by pressing y he also back he can uh, user can back to the uh, main menu and by pressing 2 he can uh, he can uh, user can see user can see the available routes uh, in the in this option he uh, user can see uh, where they uh, want to travel uh, this uh, route is available or not um, uh, so that is uh, uh, that is the option uh, which helps uh, the user in option number three uh, by pressing three he can see the uh, uh, route details with schedule that means uh, that uh, which transport will uh, travel which route in uh, which time and what is the uh, what is the actual transport name uh, that all, all the information uh, user can see uh, by pressing four uh, here uh, in this option four uh, user can ticket uh, user can book his reservation by pressing four uh, uh, he entered into that uh, ticket reservation option and here is uh, several option is available uh, that is book reservation cancel reservation easy payment uh, checking reservation uh, terms and condition uh, and m for back to main menu and e for exit for, for from the program uh, so uh, let's see what uh, let's see uh, we book a reservation uh, for our uh, next tour uh, 
so that is um, uh, the book reserve uh, book reservation panel uh, in this panel uh, there is two option is available one is today's schedule and another is our schedule that means today's schedule means uh, the, uh, uh, today uh, any transport schedule is available or not uh, by searching he also can uh, search the schedule uh, if uh, his search is match with the uh, schedule uh, he will find the uh, uh, transport uh, so uh, let's see what is uh, uh, what happened in the option number one so by pressing one he entered into the choose transport uh, today's transport option and here uh, here you can see the uh, uh, title is showing that choose transport that means he uh, need to choose this transport uh, from this uh, today's schedule uh, so there is one available uh, option is uh, from to choose transport mm, uh, here you can see uh, message showing that go to next press v or uh, to reserve uh, this transport press y or to cancel the uh, from this panel back to this panel press n so i'm uh, pressing y to reserve this option uh, to reserve the option, uh, the user need to uh, enter his departure date. Uh, I am pressing a random date to departure. So after pre pressing the uh, departure date, uh, he, ca he enter, uh, press enter and you can see the reservation is successful. After that, he uh, need to uh, he need to um, uh, reserve a or choose a seat number, uh, which is uh, you can see here is available uh, seat number is showing that showing that uh, i'm pressing a one to reserve and after that i'm pressing enter uh, by entering uh, you can see that message is showing that is successfully after that he need to uh, need to um, uh, give the give his contact details uh, because uh, anytime uh, admin can need to inform uh, any any news uh, news to the uh, user so here i'm uh, giving random um, uh, information about uh, contact details um, So after giving the uh, all in all the information, uh, all the information, uh, he just need to press enter, and you can see the message showing that reservation is successful. Uh, to uh, go to main menu, we need to press Y or uh, to uh, stay in the uh, ticket reservation panel. He need to press N. So I'm pressing N uh, to uh, stay here. So now, uh, if he uh, want to um, uh, payment, uh, payment, payment, uh, payment the uh, uh, reservation, he just need to press three. By pressing three, here uh, two option will uh, uh, open. That is one payment process, another is to payment verify. So he can also uh, uh, verify the verify his payment. So we are going to option one by payment process. In this option, uh, here you can see the message uh, two two way is showing that pay by debit or credit card, uh, and another is pay by Bcash wallet. So if you want to uh, mm, uh, pay with Bcash wallet, he need to pay. He need to follow the instruction that is dial star two four seven hash in your you know in your phone. Select option number one. Uh, then he need to enter Bcash nong uh, Bcash nong uh, like uh, uh, a random number is giving in here. Uh, and then he need to uh, enter payable amount uh, that uh, he already know known about that uh, then he need to enter reference number uh, one and then he need to enter his bcash uh, uh, wallet pin number uh, which will uh, complete his uh, payment process by pressing one he also can uh, pay by uh, debit or uh, credit card so uh, for the uh, uh, video uh, uh, in this video uh, we don't want to uh, long this video uh, that's why i'm skipping this um, uh, option uh, so let's go to the uh, ticket reservation panel uh, so, uh, so here we come to the ticket uh, ticket reservation panel uh, and he can also take his reservation and cancel his reservation uh, by pressing two and four uh, you can see uh, that is all about the ticket reservation panel so um, back to the uh, back to our uh, main menu by pressing M. So here is uh, you can see that um, uh, our uh, main menu is showing. Uh, option number five is uh, track and uh, trace. So let's uh, you can see that uh, this is uh, my future panel that uh, this option is uh, build up. 
uh, to try countries uh, user can see uh, easily where the bus is uh, currently staying uh, or uh, moving uh, so this is in under construction i will uh, work on it uh, and i'm i'm also doing right now wor uh, working uh, so uh, back to main menu option number 6 you can also um, uh, uh, see uh, see the help text uh, uh, by pressing is uh, 6 he will enter into the help text here two option is about uh, available that is faq that means frequently asked question and another is about us uh, so uh, he can also uh, see the uh, he can also ask the any question if he if he want then he uh, he also known about us uh, uh, if he have any complaint he can also complain uh, in this help box so that is all about the help box uh, so let's go uh, go to our uh, main menu so as you can see uh, i i showed uh, showed you all the all the available features of the user panel uh, but uh, here is another uh, uh, another option another uh, feature is available that is uh, user can log in and also can sign up uh, to sign up he need to press s and to log in he need to press y so here I already uh, signed up with the username and password. Uh, so let's see uh, the uh, username and password. That is sign up panel. By pressing yes, we enter into sign up panel. So I'm not sign up, uh, signing up uh, now uh, because I already signed up with the username and password. So now I, I show I, I show you that uh, how to log in log in, in uh, user panel. Uh, by pressing L, he uh, he he can log in into user panel. Uh, I'm giving a uh, correct email, email id and uh, password of user so as you can see i enter uh, login successfully in the user panel uh, the current user is uh, showing that redo uh, which is uh, i already uh, uh, sign up with redo name uh, so that is the that is all about the uh, user panel option uh, and you will see uh, further uh, further uh, uh, very well uh, if you use this software uh, i hope mm, you will uh, satisfy with this software uh, and uh, if any if you have any query uh, query or uh, any anything uh, know about this software uh, please feel free to contact with me uh, uh, I will give my email and uh, email and uh, email and uh, Facebook Facebook ID uh, to you uh, in the uh, in the uh, video in this uh, video link uh, so you can contact with me e uh, easily uh, so uh, now I am logging uh, logging from uh, log out from the user panel by pressing zero uh, so that is all about the uh, all about my uh, my software uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, and uh, and pray for me to i uh, do uh, do mm, more better in, in future and i, I can i can uh, make uh, more uh, more beautiful software for you uh, so that uh, th that is all about about my software uh, thanks for watching uh, thanks to all